The definitions of beginning, middle, end really just when you when you start to undefine what beginning, middle, and end is, that's when you start uh, developing yourself as a storyteller. Which I, I actually need to develop myself because I've I've never tried writing something like that. It's just a good question to ask when you're starting your story is how you tell it. How you tell a story is just as important as what a story is. Sometimes when you're trying to tell stories, the ending is also a great beginning. The beginning, middle, and end is what you typically learn when you're trying to write a story. But honestly, you can do that beginning, middle, and end, but not in that order. It really is just, it's a skill that you learn trying to do story storytelling that even I haven't mastered. So I don't even know why I'm talking about this. Um, I'm not an expert at it. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not trained or well versed in trying to do that sort of filmmaking. But we're gonna see what we come up with. No. All right. What really entices stories that start at the end for me is the way a director or a writer creates the world. Basically, going back to Forrest Gump, you don't really realize what everything Forrest has been through just by seeing the character at the very start. When you experience what Forrest has been through th throughout the whole movie, it gives, gives the character a different meaning at the end. Usually when you're writing films, right, you typically start, here's this character, here's the setting, here's the situation, and this is, uh, this is your normal, this is your, this is the world that exists right now, and in storytelling, there, there's something called uh, the problem or uh, the rising action, what motivates the main character to go through his whole journey and end up at the climax and then at the end. But you could also say that the end is a state of normalcy where at the end, you start at a new normal basically with the same character. I remember this very well from Forrest Gump. If you guys haven't watched Forrest Gump, it actually starts at the end. It starts with Forrest at a bench after everything that he's been through, but he is still the same character that went through everything basically he might be slightly different at the start but it's he's still forrest gump in the core of his character there's a lot of ways for you to tell the story of your character by starting at the end not really the beginning if there's one thing that i feel like you guys should take away from this is that stories doesn't have to be this rigid structure of how you write them different ways of you trying to tell a story creates different emotions creates different experiences for the audience and that really says a lot on what what you are as a writer so yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm kind of tired push now for this yeah it's really hot today and look at now um hope you guys enjoyed this video i know it's not as great as uh, other videos but you know, you do what you can and you deal with what you have. Um, this whole video, you guys will notice, is not shot on my camera. This, this whole video is shot on my phone. I wanted to see how much I can do with a phone and without using my camera. All, I, all I'm using for the video today is my phone and a recorder with a lapel just to get good, uh, good audio. But. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if this goes well, I'll probably make more like this just using my phone. Just to see how much I can stretch making content with just a phone. So, yeah. Bye.